way back at E3 in 2008, everybody was talking about one game that was kind of flying under the radar. Did, did you see Flower? Did yes. You, did you try Flower? Have you played Flower? Well, guess what? Turns out that Flower is pretty cool. It is number 64 on our list of the greatest video games of all time. Victor Lucas, wax poetic about this very poetic game. I have a little story as well. Oh, I was we recently uh, at this past E3 hanging with Jenova Chen for a little oh, while. Oh, Mr. Big Shot, and flying around in James Cameron's helicopter. It was actually after the Spielberg and Lucas talk, oh, so it was, it was kind of nice. That, but uh, and then you had dinner with Henry Cavill. I talked to Jenova Chen, and obviously Journey has received a tremendous amount of love and attention, and it's one of the most heavily awarded games that Jenova's game company, that game company, has received, and justly so. But I asked him what his favorite game was, and he said Flower, because it is also mine. I love that game company. I love their crazy abstractness. I love the artistic choices that they go for with their creations. But Flower, I think, is the perfect distillation of their creativity. It's a beautiful game that's really reliant on music and bringing life into the world. <laughs> Gorgeous. And I think that game company, and especially this game, really set the tone for the indie movement yeah. that has happened right now. Well, I it mean, changes what the meaning of video game is. Yeah, you it know, was, when it you was, play a, something it like was a smaller game, yeah. and it wasn't a game that had a lot of explosions. Yeah. There were no zombies. You use the no six tanks. axis controller to kind of maneuver around, and you're first rolling. and last time anyone's ever <laughs> used the six axis. But it worked well with this game, you know? And the music was beautiful. Yeah. Of course, we have taken a look at Flower in uh, years past. Here's a look back at Flower. Let's talk about another downloadable game that uh, I think is much more. It's Flower. And this is uh, from that game company yeah, you know, who brought I, us uh, Flow. I didn't like Flow. I always felt like it was a little too overrated. esoteric. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, there was really no point to the whole thing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and I was really down on Flower, I have to say. Everyone was talking about it. You know, sometimes as, as game writers and game reviewers, yeah. sometimes we, we hear too much about games. Sure. And, oh, we love this. Overhyped is the it's term. Overhyped. Yeah. And I, you know, yeah. and, and so I had to come at Flower from an oblique angle. It, yeah. it's, it's hard to not like this game. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot to do in it. I mean, yeah. you're basically a it it's a game, though. Let's qualify that it isn't just a, uh, you know, it's not a tech float demo. and yeah, yeah. devour kind of experience it's, like, right. like Flow is. There's a game to this. Right. But, it, you know, it's so profoundly beautiful, this yeah. game. The way that the music is interwoven into the visuals and the, uh, the the immensity of the world that you're kind of building before you, you're a part of it. And it's like it starts as a flower petal pretty much and escalates to this, you know, full-on city. And you watch it all sort of unravel and unfold before you your eyes and you're a part of it. Yeah. It's such a hard game to describe, but when you soak it up and get into it, and it has, has a weird off-putting title. You yeah. know, it's like flower. It's like, do I want this or do I want, you know, you know, Kill Zone 2, you know? And, yeah. and I mean that's one thing you have to give Sony credit for. And not, not a I, lot of people are giving Sony I, much credit. I do. But for publishing yeah. something like this, it's it's an incredible thing. This is what makes Sony my favorite first party publisher. And I would absolutely say to the Kill Zone 2 fans out there to, to support a game like this. Yeah. So what are you gonna give Flower? I'm gonna give Flower a uh, 9.5. I don't know what I don't even know how to score I this. I know game. it's a very difficult game to, to score. Because it's not perfect, but it's so great. I'm giving it a 10 though. This is such a great game. Can I change game. mine to a 10? You can change to a 10. What else could you want? It's such an out of nowhere scores together and it's 20. Congratulations, Genova Chen and everybody from that game company, Flower. You are number 64.